Now I'd like to show you a method of working with multiple languages in the same storyline project, but this time using layers. So we have the exact same setup as um, I showed you for branching um, into different scenes with localized content. Uh, it's the same sort of title slide. We've got three buttons here, English, French, and Spanish, only now we have some new triggers assigned to these buttons. So looking at the English language button, it's simply the same jump to next slide trigger um, that we saw before. But when you look at the Spanish buttons, you'll see there's an additional trigger added to this. Not only are we jumping to the slide, but first we're setting French equal to true. So what is meant by that? Well, French is a variable that I've created. And if we look here in our manage variables panel, you'll see I've got a variable named French with the default, it's a true false variable with the default value of false. And I've also got one here for Spanish and it also has a um, default value of false. And if I needed to edit those, I could simply go in here and, and change that. But for our purposes, we wanna keep these just as they are. So you'll notice that I have that same trigger here set um, Spanish equal to true when the user clicks. So essentially what we're saying is when the user clicks either of these two buttons, we're going to um, flip that variable from its default state of false to true. So we're turning it from off to on. And where that comes into play is on this slide. This is our content slide. You'll notice I'm on the base layer and it's blank. There's nothing going on here. That's because all the content is living on layers. So I've got my what is paleontology layer in English, then I have the French version and the Spanish version. And back on the base layer, the way that those specific language layers are triggered is through slide triggers. So the first one I have here is show layer what is paleontology English when the timeline starts. And that's what it looks like. There's no conditions on that. It's just the default layer. So if no one clicks French or Spanish on the prior screen, they will by default see the English version. Now let's take a closer look at these other two slide triggers. This one says show layer Spanish when the timeline starts on the slide if Spanish is equal to true. So in other words, if somebody clicked the Spanish button on the title slide and flipped that switch on that variable from false to true, um, the slide trigger here is going to notice that as the slide is loading and it's going to show then the Spanish layer. Same thing here with French. We're going to show layer French when the timeline starts on this if French is equal to true. So pretty straightforward, just three quick little triggers to timeline triggers to set up. Um, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and preview this. And you'll see, for instance, if I click on French, we see the French version. Now, what if I wanted to change my language? And let's say I wanted to speak, or I wanted to read in Spanish. Uh-oh, looks like I'm still seeing the French version. So what do we need to do here? We need to add some triggers. And we need to add those back here on this title slide. Because what is happening is we've, uh, when we selected French, we told Storyline, hey, turn the French variable on, but we need something that tells it to turn that off again so that we can pick something different. And we need to apply that as well in case somebody clicked on Spanish and wanted to change to French. So what we need to do is create some additional triggers here. So we're going to uh, create some slide triggers that adjust the variable. We'll, we'll select French first to equal, um, the value false when the timeline starts on the title slide. And then all we need to do is copy and paste that and then just make some quick adjustments here. We'll pick Spanish. There we go. So now let's go ahead and preview our project and see if adding those two slide triggers fixed the problem. So now I want to go to Spanish. There we go. So that's um, how you can make layers work for your localized content. Um, hopefully this is helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments.